What is up nutrition nerds and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about hydrogels for triathlon and whether they're better than any other performance supplements out there. You haven't heard about them? Hydrogels are the latest, greatest and best and brightest advancement in sports nutrition there is and they can revolutionize your training and your racing. Or can they? Ironman recently announced that their new nutrition partner is Martin, who are a company that makes sports supplements like carbohydrate gels and drinks using this hydrogel technology. And some high profile athletes like the mighty Jan Fredino and Elliot Kipchoge are just some of those who use Martin's hydrogel supplements. There is a lot of positivity about this hydrogel technology and how it can improve racing performance and reduce gastrointestinal symptoms. But does the evidence back this up? And is it something that you should use? Hmm. So, hydrogels. There's a lot of hype and positive stories about them. And if you're gonna be doing an Ironman event anytime soon, then they'll be commonplace. So let's give you a bit of an evidence-based nutrition run through, shall we? Let's start with what you're probably wondering first and foremost. What on earth is a hydrogel? If you look it up on Wikipedia or Martin's website, you'll get a description which doesn't really tell you that much. I mean, really? But essentially, it's a gel-like substance that holds its structure in a 3D form rather than just being gloopy, for example, because it's got a lattice work of scaffolding molecules around it to help give it some structure. While the actual delivery method might be in a drink, a gel or a powder form, the idea behind it from a sports nutrition point of view is that there are loads of these little hydrogel balls which hold the carbohydrates that you need to fuel your exercise and the salt that you need to rehydrate you inside them rather than just say having a gel or a drink which delivers the carbon salt straight to your stomach in a free form. Because you actually absorb the carbohydrate in your intestines rather than your stomach, the idea behind the hydrogel is that it protects the carbohydrate and salt from being broken down in your acidic stomach and therefore helping to fuel and hydrate you better. And that's the basic principle of it, better efficiency and uptake of carbohydrates and salt. They also suggest that this hydrogel form should cause less in the way of gastrointestinal symptoms, so things like stomach cramps or diarrhea, because they use naturally occurring products for that hydrogel scaffolding, and it's free from any sort of colorings or preservatives. So that sounds pretty awesome to me, and I can definitely get on board with the theory of it. But let's look at the evidence for this, because that's why you're here, right? You want to know the truth behind the advertising, I know you do. The best information we have on this topic to date is a review which was published in the Journal of Sport Nutrition and Exercise Metabolism by King and colleagues. They looked at the current studies which compare this hydrogel formula to other forms of supplements providing carbohydrates for athletes. And to date, there are currently six studies which fit this bill, and that's four on cycling, one on running, and one on cross-country skiing. While the studies all differed in their exact testing protocol, the amount of carbohydrates they used, and the exercise, they all had similar themes. They all had a steady state period of exercise for at least 90 minutes, and then some sort of performance test afterwards. So a time trial, time to exhaustion, or repeated sprints. So while they're all different, they give us some good variety and some insight into what might be going on. Now, what were the findings? Well, overall, there wasn't really much in the way of benefit for hydrogels. And to say there wasn't really much in the way of benefit, there was really no benefit at all. Over these six studies, there wasn't any statistically significant improvements in performance in the hydrogel groups compared to the supplements that provided carbohydrates in a different form like your standard liquid or gel. But importantly, they didn't show any worsened performance. And there wasn't really any difference in gastrointestinal symptoms either. So it didn't really back up that claim that the hydrogel technology 
can reduce gastrointestinal symptoms. So what does this mean? Are hydrogels pointless and it's all just commercial hype? Nope. There might be a few different reasons why these studies didn't show a benefit in the hydrogel groups compared to the other carbohydrate supplements. It may be that the studies were too small to show a difference, or perhaps the right amount of carbohydrates weren't used, or maybe that the testing protocol or the performance test wasn't rigorous enough to show the true potential benefits of the hydrogels. Just because the studies didn't find anything doesn't mean that the difference isn't there. Given how much hype there is around this technology, I fully expect there to be more studies and trials, and that will hopefully provide more evidence one way or another. So the important question, do the results mean that you shouldn't use hydrogel technology and just ignore it? Again, nope. And there are a few reasons for this too. Firstly is that everyone is individual. I know a few people who swear by Martin products, and they're the only ones that don't give them cramps or stomach upset. But then I know others who love other products and they won't change. Everyone will get on well with different products. And if you find that hydrogels work for you, then I would encourage you to stick with them, especially as there's no negative performance benefits that's been shown so far. Secondly, if you're planning on racing an Ironman event and you know that there are gonna be Martin products there and you're planning on using them, then it's a great idea to practice. It's so important to practice your race day nutrition. So if you know that you're gonna be using them in advance, practice them well in advance to make sure that you get on with them and don't get any side effects. But it is worth taking the study findings into consideration. Do you need to spend more money or specifically buy hydrogel products to give you that extra edge and make you race so much better and throw out all of the rest of your nutrition plans? The findings would suggest no. They seem to show the same performance benefits as other carbohydrate supplements. So until we know more, use what you're comfortable with and what works well for you. And as a bit of a disclaimer for you guys, I've got some Morton stuff here. So I've got some of their drink mixes and one of their gels. And I'm gonna do a proper review on this in the next couple of weeks for you but I'm not affiliated with them in any way and I'm not sponsored by them. And I want to make sure that I just give you the best up-to-date information possible without trying to push any sort of products on. Because that is the whole point of Nutrition Triathlon, to give you the most up-to-date evidence-based information without any sort of agenda behind it. So that is a wrap guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions, then let me know. And if you haven't already, press that thumbs up button for me and press subscribe to stay up to date with everything that I release and make sure you press that notification icon. And as it's race season, let me know if you've got any races coming up soon. I've got my first of the season next month and I am super excited. Not sure how it's gonna go given I haven't really been able to swim, but we'll see. All right, I will catch you next time. See ya.